utilizing the upper portion of the zone. That's something that's been infiltrated into Major League Baseball. The Golden Eagles kind of taking that game plan. Shift on. This is the second baseman out there. That's Smith. That's Smith. Walk with two strikeouts. Did not figure into that decision as that's ball four to Mershon. Second best batting average on the team. There goes the runner. Throw down is not in time. And that's the 16th. While it was still a monsoon here, the presale was up near 3,000. There's a swing and a miss on another good breaking ball. Pitch here. Runners off and a fly ball is out towards center field. But playable out there for McIntyre in this cavernous outfield here at Trustmark Park. So earn run average in 50 and two-thirds it's innings so pitch bad. for the Hurricanes, and that's a nasty off-speed pitch there, and he picks up the strikeout. There's a hard hit ground ball. That'll move the runner over, though. As Mershon throws out Slade Wilkes. Monastir to advance down to third base. And you see here now. Gets away and coming in to score. On the wild pinch is Monastir. And it's 1-0. Is Ligon. Actually, no, he does go out of the windup. Apologies. Here's a high fly ball deep towards left center field. At the track, at the wall, and it is gone. Thirds innings in an 11-4 loss. And that's ball four, so his first walk in this long inning can pay out pitch here to Pratt. Walk him. They don't care how you get on base. <laughs> Just get on base, right? In the dirt, that's a wild pitch. Going to advance those runners 90 feet, so Pato's at third. Bit on pitch selection early. They're on ball left side. That's going to have eyes into left field. Two runs are going to score, and it's 4-0. The freshman, Seth Smith. Turned out to be a good night for baseball. Pitch low. Runner goes. That's a good throw. Joe Powell with a great throw. Frozen rope to Cup. The slider to me. It's been not a lot else. It's a Joe, fastball ripped here. Joe Powell turns on that pitch and bobbled a bit out there in left field by Butler, but Josh Strander has to be pretty pleased with what he's seen from him so far today. That went up and in. That's ball four. So two on, nobody out. On the second with a strikeout. Here's a ball blooped out towards the right side of the infield. Long run, but the catch made out there by Seth Smith. And that is a Rashawn now. Two ducks on the pond out there for Mississippi State. The ball hit down the line. That's fair. And that is trouble. That's going to score Powell. Rounding third, stopping there is Cup for Mississippi State here. Allen delivers in between hop pickup over there by Monastir. Low throw picked out of the dirt by Russo. That'll score the second run. There's a call, third strike. A big strikeout as back to work. And the first pitch lined into left field and a great catch. Out there in left field by Chase. He's a talented, talented freshman. Out the end of the bat. And that's past the diving. Mershon into right field. A base hit for Slade Wilkes. Run by Billy. There's a hard hit ground ball. Hit the back of the mound. And that ball had some juice on it. As Butler. Winging at. That's a tough pitch to handle. Instead, this year he lays off. See what he gets here. Back to it, he lays off of it, but it's a good one, a strike. Fay in McGee, that? Mississippi. Zips. Hard hit ball, one hopper, but right there is Mershon, and he will throw out Pratt, so no runs, two hits. They're both left on base. Here's the 0-2. There's a call third strike in a 46-minute rain delay. That pitch inside hits him. Hitting 6-11 with runners on right now. Pitch hit him in the foot. Already had a five RBI game this year. That ball smashed past the third base with Monastir and into left field. It's a one-run ball game. And an RBI base hit safe at third base over there. For pressure's hype situation for, for Cross Sibley. Down the first baseline. They get the out there. The throw home's not in time. And we are tied here at Trustmark Park. Chance now. And he skies it out towards shallow right field. Carson Pato, <laughs> made it interesting, but Carson makes the catch out there. Hey, but one thing's for sure is there's a line drive base hit to left by Dalton McIntyre. 
And he's aboard with a leadoff single to bring in Nick Monastere. Early 1990s, we uh, became involved with, with USM and Mississippi State and Ole Miss and uh, in Jackson State as well. Uh, at that time, we were... Uh, it delivers. Line drive caught out the end of the bat by Marshawn and hung up in the air long enough for him to get to it. And like I said, I mean, we've got business customers in... 47 states now, so we, we've certainly grown, but uh, in our home area, uh, you know, our focus has really been with our customers for universities over the years, which so just, again, a really good fit for us. Chopper to cup the shortstop, and that'll retire the side. Boy, fired up there. Lead arms on in the pin and try to see if they can't find their ball club a win. Pulled the uh, streakman now behind the plate, catching as that ball's rocketed to right center field, but getting that out at the plate was big. That one's got a chance, and it is gone into the corner of that bullpen. And Dakota Jordan has gone deep to get Mississippi State their first lead of the game. It's 5-4. to 20-plus homers since Brent Rooker did it back in 2017, and there's a call third strike. Guy, Dakota Jordan, exactly who they want swinging the stick. Bouncer for Marshawn, the second baseman. And he uh, takes care of Russo. Replay review. 2 2 pitch. There's a swing and a miss. What a big pitch that was from the left hander. <laughs> well, Nick Minus there's facing Tyler Davis. We have to wait. Uh, we'll call that a teaser. Fly ball to center field. Minus 234 batter. Round ball, that's trouble down the right field line. That'll get into that coffin corner down there, and he's going to stretch it into a double. The fourth double on the season for Bryce Chance. You're off too far, but that, uh, it does mean a lot. There goes a bat flying down that first base line. As Logan Kohler, baseball community, you guys have been so great. There's a throw to third and not in time. As Chance, swing and a miss. I believe that was the changeup. Fans don't like it, 3-2. Swing and a miss. Back to the changeup. And a massive, massive strikeout. 2-2 two -two again. Sticks the bat out there. There's some area open out there in left center field, but it's caught. Former Embraves. Called third strike. On the road as well. One pitch, that ball's drilled, but in this ballpark, that's going to be a long out. Center fielder out there, Heizak makes the catch. This year, using his bench a lot, mixing his lineups. There's a ground ball to short. Ozzie Pratt, still the shortstop, still good at fielding ground balls. <laughs> Which article it was, I think it was from the Mississippi State Athletics website, is that time the third baseman cuts it off. Brodus, who gets a chance here, is three times tonight. Not under that one. McIntyre loves it. Last chance for the nice three-two pitch. Lofted out towards left. Chance. Run away here in this bottom of the ninth inning. That's how Southern Miss jumps out to that four-nothing lead. There is the off-speed pitch and a called third strike. Boy, and you can see the emotion. Is ready the pitch. Ground ball to the shortstop. Cup. Low throw. Did he hold on? Yes. A pick by Hines. They might, they might, they might look at this 